Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan Cohn, and today I have my book review of the book, Halo The Flood by William Dietz. This is uh, the second book in the Halo series in publication order. The first book I read back in this January, which was titled Halo The Fall of Reach. And I loved The Fall of Reach. It was so much fun. And it had great military storytelling. It had great background on the characters. It had a great political storylines, some fun action and stuff. So I was excited to get more in the series. And I'd read uh, uh, another Halo book, um, New Blood, uh, a while ago. And uh, I enjoyed that. But that was a really short one. So I picked up Halo The Flood. And... Did not really like it. I'm sorry. It, it was just okay. That's how I feel about it. It wasn't like a bad book, like poorly constructed, but I also don't think it was a good book. I felt it was just okay. <coughs> I thought that this book uh, had some really cool elements in it, such as I thought that getting inside... Uh, Captain Keyes' head was really interesting. Uh, I thought that uh, seeing his perspective when he gets captured and stuff was really fascinating. I also thought getting to see the m dynamic between McKay and uh, Silva and uh, Master Chief was also really cool. And uh, the, the dynamic between Master Chief and Spark, who is a tremendous character, and Cortana. Master Chief, Spark, and Cortana, great, great dynamic there. Loved all that. So there was some stuff I did enjoy about the book. But... The majority of the book is just action sequence after action sequence after action sequence, and you're just reading about the action of him cutting down either the Flood or the Covenant soldiers. And really, neither one is appealing to me when I'm reading a book. I would have much preferred, you know, the structure of the first book is very political, it's very military strategy, it's very well, like, elevated writing, whereas this one, it just feels like you're literally just, it is a novelization of the game, so in a way, it's like you're just reading a game, and it just didn't have the enjoyable elements for me, and I know that, you know, for gamers, they might love this type of book, because it feels like you're playing a video game, but to me, it just, it, the stories it was telling was just not interesting to me at all, um, and maybe that's because it's the design of the game, or maybe that's just because it's the way the story panned out. And I like the world building here. I thought the Flood were interesting and the Covenant were interesting. And I thought that the Halo world was interesting. Um, although with what happens at the end of it, I'm curious why they call this game Halo. Because like, is, 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 that, is, is a different Halo planet on every, in every game? Or did they just say, you know what, that works so well for the first game. We're going to use that for all of them. Like, why isn't it called the Spartan game because of you know, Master Chief, or called, the game's called Master Chief, or something like that. Why is it called Halo? Anyway, just really fascinating. Um, but, uh, I, so I did like the world building a lot, but uh, again, the story, I just was unappealing to me. I just did not like it. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm going to give it like a 6 out of 10. It was just fine. It, or not even a 6. I'm going to give it a 5.5. A 5.5 out of 10. Because, like, I don't think it was poorly constructed that the story didn't make sense. It, the story did make sense. It just wasn't an entertaining story. And that's the, that's the problem. You have to, you want, you want a good rating, you gotta be entertaining. And maybe there's some people who love this, and if you did, good. And if you hate it, I understand why you did. I just feel kind of, it's okay. I have the third book in Mass Market Paperback and intend to read it in a couple of months before the end of the year. I will determine if I read more in a Halo novels based off how I feel about the third book. It's a different author. It's going back to Eric Nyland, who, again, knocked it out of the park with the first one, which I loved. So if he does a good job again, it might rejuvenate me to read more. But if it doesn't, I'm probably ending it after the third book. But we'll see. It depends on how the third book goes. But if you've read Halo The Flood... Uh, what were your thoughts on it? And also, what did you think of the video game? Let me know those thoughts in the comments section down below. And until next time, I'm Jonathan, and thank you for watching.